Hey sixth grade, I hope all is well. Today for math, we're going to be talking about latitude. This is going to cover pages 279 and 280 in your textbook. So latitude is the distance in degrees north or south of the equator. The equator has been designated as zero degrees latitude. North of the equator is the northern hemisphere. South of the equator is the southern hemisphere. There's approximately 69 miles between each degree of latitude. Latitude measures the distances north or south of the equator, but the lines run west to east, so they're horizontal lines. They look like the line right here. They're not the up and down lines, they're the side to side lines. It wants us to find the approximate miles from the equator for each of these, for number two. Well, it said here that it is approximately 69 miles between each degree. So we would multiply these numbers by 69 to figure out how many miles it is. So 25 times 69, 9 times 5 is 45, 9 times 2 is 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 0, sorry this is a bad 5, okay, 6 times 5 is 30, 6 times 2 is 12, plus 3 is 15, add it up. 5, 2, 7, 1. So it is 1,725 miles south of the equator. B, 8 degrees north. So 69 times 8. 8 times 9 is 72. 8 times 6 is 48. 49. 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. So it is 552 miles north of the equator. On C, it is 67 degrees north. So 67 times 69. 9 times 7 is 63. 9 times 6 is 54, plus 6 is 60. 0, 6 times 7 is 42, 6 times 6 is 36, plus 4 is 40, add it up, 3, 2, 6, 4, so 67 degrees north is 4,623 miles north of the equator. Okay. Then it gives us one of those um, time zone charts again. For these, remember, if we are going to the right, we are gaining an hour. If we're going to the left, we're losing an hour. So for A, if it is 6 a.m. in Pacific time, if it is 5 a.m. in Alaska, and 4 a.m., in Hawaii and the Aleutian Islands, which are the tiny part of Alaska. Then going to the east, we would have Mountain Time, which would be 7 o'clock a.m. Central Time would be 8 o'clock a.m. And Eastern Time, which is where we are, would be 9 o'clock a.m. For B, we have Midnight in Hawaii. Well, it would be 1 a.m. in Alaska, 2 a.m. in Pacific Time Zone, 3 a.m. in Mountain Time Zone, 4 a.m. in Central, and 5 a.m. in Eastern. And then for C, it gives us noon in the Mountain Time Zone. So the farther west we go, the earlier it will be. So in Pacific, it will be 11 a.m. In Alaska, it'll be 10 a.m. And in Hawaii, it'll be 9 a.m. And then going to the east, and central, it will be 1 p.m. And eastern, it'll be 2 p.m. I hope these time zones are making sense. It's pretty straightforward. You just have to know whether it is east or west of the one you're currently in. Okay. On 4, it gives us some word problems. 4A... 9 p.m. in Los Angeles is what time in New York City? Well, Los Angeles is California, 
which would be the Pacific time zone. And New York City is in the Eastern time zone. So if it is 9 p.m. here, 10 p.m., 11 p.m., midnight, or 12 a.m. So I would take either. I would take 12 o'clock a.m. or midnight. It is very important to remember that noon is 12 a.m. and, or sorry, noon is 12 p.m. and midnight is 12 a.m. Okay, B, New Orleans is at 30 degrees north. How far is it from the equator? That's what we did earlier. So I'm gonna come up here, 30 degrees times 69 miles. 69 miles times 30 degrees, zero, zero, zero. Three times nine is 27. Three times six is 18, 19, 20. So zero, seven, zero, two. It is 2,070 miles from the equator. C, Philadelphia is at 40 degrees north. How many miles is it from the New Orleans at latitude? It doesn't wanna know how far it is from the equator. It wants to know how far it is from New Orleans, or at least from that line of latitude. We aren't talking about how far east or west yet, we're just talking about north and south. So, New Orleans is 30 degrees north. Philadelphia is 40 degrees north. That is a difference of 10 degrees. Now, we can multiply that by our 69 miles. Nine times zero is, nine, is zero. Nine times one is nine, zero. Six times zero is zero. Six times one is six. Be 690 miles. Okay, Quito, which is in South America, um, in Ecuador, I believe, is located at zero degrees latitude. How far is it from the equator? Well, if we remember from earlier, the equator is at zero degrees latitude. So if Quito is also at zero degrees, then it is at the equator, so it is zero miles away from it. Mumbai in India is on the 20 degrees north latitude. How far is it from the equator? Well, that's when we do the times 69. So 20 degrees times 69. Nine times zero is zero. Nine times two is 18, zero. Six times zero is zero. Six times two is 12, zero, eight, three, one. So it is 1,380 miles from the equator. Okay, on seven, we have kind of a mixture of problems. For seven A, we have six and three fourths percent of $67,500. So six and three fourths would be 6.75, but then we gotta move our decimal to, so one, two. So it would be six, seven, five, oh, oh, oh times point zero six seven five okay hope we have enough room here <laughs> five times zero 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 five times five is twenty five five times seven is thirty five thirty six thirty seven five times six is thirty plus three is thirty three okay zero then seven times zero twice so zero zero Seven times five is 35. Seven times seven is 49, plus three is 52. Seven times six is 42, plus five is 47. Two zeros. Six times zero twice, so zero, zero. Six times five is 30. Six times seven is 42, plus three is 45. Six times six is 36, plus four is 40. Okay, make sure all of your columns are lined up. 
So 0, 0, 5 plus 0 is 5, 7 plus 5 is 12, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 plus 3 is 10, plus 5 is 15, 4 plus 1 is 5, 4 plus nothing is 4. And we have one, two, three, four decimal points. So one, two, three, four. So six and sorry, I mean I don't think I counted right there. One, two, three, four. So six and three fourths percent of sixty seven thousand five hundred dollars would be four thousand. Five hundred and fifty six dollars and twenty five cents. Okay, on B we have three X plus seven equals ten. Well, first we get the variable by itself, so we subtract seven from both sides. So then we get three X equals ten minus seven, which is three. Then we divide both sides by three. So x equals 3 divided by 3, which is 1. And then c, 9 plus 3 squared times 6. Well, remember we do our PEMDAS, or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. There's no parentheses, so the first thing we do is exponents. So 3 squared, 3 times 3 is 9. So 9 plus 9 times 6. Then we do any multiplication and division. So then we do 9 times 6, which is 54 plus 9, 9 plus 54 is 63. If we had done the 9 plus 9 first, then it would be 18 times 6, which would be way too large of an answer. Okay, now for D, we have 7,326 divided by 100. Okay, any time that we have a number divided by a power of 10, 10, 100, 1,000, so on, we can just move that decimal point over that many times. So we have two zeros, so move your decimal over twice, one, two. So your answer would be 73.26. If we have two and three-fifths plus one and one-half, we have to make those fractions have the same denominator. So the first number that both 5 and 2 go into is 10. So we make both of these be something over 10. So 2 and 3 fifths is 2 and something over 10. Well I had to times that 5 by 2, so I've got to times that 3 by 2, which would be 6. And then 1 and something over 10. I had to times that 2 by 5, so 1 times 5 is 5. So then I'm adding my whole numbers. I'd get 3, 6 tenths plus 5 tenths would be 11 tenths. That is not simplified. 10 goes into 11 one time, so I'd add one to that. And I'd have 1 tenth, and my answer would be 4 and 1 tenth. Okay. On G, we also need to make sure that those have the same denominator. 4 goes into 8, so this side of the fraction will stay the same. I just have to double this one. So it'll be 7, and I had to multiply that 4 by 2, so 1 times 2 is 2. 7 and 2 eighths minus 6 and 3 eighths. No, I can't take 3 away from 2, so I have to borrow. So I have to make this 6. And add 8 to this. So 8 plus 2 would be 10. So now it is 6 and 10 eighths minus 6 and 3 eighths. Subtract your whole numbers, you get 0. 10 eighths minus 3 eighths, your eighth is staying the same. 10 minus 3 is 7. You cannot simplify 7 eighths. So it's just seven eighths. I hope this is making sense. A lot of this is review, um, but some of it is new.
we will go more into latitude and eventually longitude later. Uh, if you have any questions, reach out to me on Jupiter or on Zoom. Stay safe. I'll see you soon.